It looks like the number of COVID cases are increasing daily, 100,000 new cases. That is the new daily average of the U.S. COVID coronavirus cases per day. Take a look at these numbers. That exceeds the number of transmissions last summer before vaccines were even available. Take a look at this. I want y'all to I want y'all to take a, take a hard look at this. Here are the national numbers, folks. 36,305,074 cases with the death toll now being 631,899 reported deaths. The majority of new infections are among those who are unvaccinated. That's what that's that's based upon the data. Now Dr. Anthony Fauci has urged vaccines are the best protection against more severe illness and death. And according to the White House data director, Dr. Cyrus Schaffer, uh, Schaefer, excuse me, half of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Now, folks, you know, yesterday I was on the panel, had a conversation about vaccinations and all of that good stuff. But we're seeing numbers and, and again, I am not supportive of the fact that we have created this culture war of unvaccinated versus vaccinated. This was a global pandemic. This started off as a global pandemic where we're talking about being together. When we're talking about we're in this together. The vaccine comes out and guess what happened? It has created division. The vaccine has been and been rolled out and it has started issues among family members. Now, we weren't already seeing each other because of the virus itself, but now we don't want to see each other because of vaccinations. And so we're being broken apart. And I'm seeing this country, especially in black and brown communities, there are some deep divides over this issue. But I think that we need to keep some things clear. I and mean, this is not about whether you want to choose to get the vaccine or not choose. I mean, that's your personal choice. That's your personal decision. However, what I want to look at is who's benefiting from the great division that we're seeing happening in this country. Because is the American people benefiting from it? Are black people? Are brown people? Are who's benefiting from this, this division? I want to uh, go to my panel on this, and Dr. Carter, I mean, I, I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing these cases, and, and I'm seeing the culture wars. I'm seeing, look, we need mass mandates. We need people to wash their damn hands. We need people to stay socially distant. Stop going to damn music concerts that have thousands of people, you know? We need to see all of these things, but at the same time, let's not be forgetful of the fact that this government, the United States of America, the corporations that are supporting the United States of America, Pfizer and, and, and all of these places, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson, and they're, they're just mishandling of everything they touch, that this government never had our health interest at heart. And that if you decide to get the vaccine, you want to get the vaccine, and but please know what you're getting yourself into, Dr. Carter. I guess I don't like that last part of know what you're getting yourself into. What would you be getting yourself into besides the vaccine and lessening likelihood you might die? I'm in Washington, D.C., where black people are 48% of the population and 80% of the fatalities from COVID-19. So I right. think... That, that sort of language of, well, I don't know, is kind of the problem. Now, listen, has the government done black people wrong? Absolutely. I'm one of those people who believes the truth doesn't need a remix, right? We don't need to make it a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy, right? It's in our face. We know all of the things that have happened to us. And while black health may not be the government's interest, it's our interest, right? And I think we have to be very clear about that. And we can talk about, well, the government has done us wrong historically, therefore we don't need to take the vaccine. But the truth is we are more likely to be employed as frontline employees that exposes us to the vaccine. We are also more likely to have 
the comorbidities that make us more susceptible to dying from these diseases, uh, from this disease, but we are also less likely to have access to health care. All this moment is doing the vaccine is doing anything. It's the people talking about the vaccine that's creating the division. The vaccine is here to protect us, hopefully, um, from some of the worst complications of this disease, because having the vaccine doesn't mean you can't contract COVID, but it certainly right. means you can spread it to your unvaccinated friends and neighbors and the people that you love and potentially kill them, right? That's right. what it does mean. But it is certainly the case that the talking heads and those around us are creating this division. And while we may not like the language of the vaccinated and unvaccinated, it is true that our communities have lagged. And lots of the conversations that we have had about whether people have take the vaccine or don't take the vaccine um, are not about telling more truth about what the United States has, has done to black people. And I won't even say that far into the past, right? It's not been that long ago. Right, no. um, where we see some of these egregious sort of medical errors. But there's also the case that one of the things that I think makes this moment different is the fact that this was one of the times when we had a global concentrated effort on a singular uh, vaccination. And I'm not going to yep. tell black people, don't get vaccinated for COVID-19. Just like I'm not going to tell them, well, don't get the polio vaccine or the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. Uh, rubella vaccine or any other other vaccines. No, uh, white America may not have had our health or this government may not have health in mind, but can black people benefit from this? Yes. And I'm not going to tell black people who are dying disproportionately from this virus to continue to just sort of act like, you know, this vaccine can have no upside for them. I think that people yep. can continue to have questions, but unless you have become a virologist, a chemist, an immunologist overnight, I think we can think about maybe some of our trusted messengers around health. And there are a number of them. The president of my university is a physician who's been working around this messaging to black communities around COVID. That I think we can be more responsible messengers. It doesn't necessarily mean that everybody will want to get the vaccine, but to, I think to, to sort of play footsies or play putty, pity pat with this virus that is killing us at an alarming rate is also dangerous and reckless. Back to my unfiltered video in just one moment. Seek is a streaming platform for virtual events and virtual reality experiences featuring the biggest names in music, sports, and entertainment from around the globe. So take Seek Sizzle and uh, take a look at this. But the Seek's mission is to enable content creators to directly generate revenue from a global audience on multiple devices, including VR headsets, smart TVs, gaming consoles, mobile and desktop devices. Now, whether you're a gamer, music or sports enthusiast, Seek has something for everyone. Go to seek.com, that's C-E-E-K.com and use Roland Martin Unfiltered's discount code RMVIP21. That's a smooth discount code. RMVIP21 for your next purchase. All right, and that's at seek.com.